Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to AXT. And by looking at the title of the video, you already know that we are going to unlock the bootloader of any Motorola devices, Android devices. Okay, uh, let's get started then. First of all, we need two things. Uh, that's the Moto drivers and the minimal ADV fast boot drivers, which you'll find in the internet anywhere and i'll leave the links below in the description right below the like button i mean you, you need to hit the like button you know okay uh after that you need to install the motor drivers motor drivers and the minimal adb fastboot dri drivers just inside this motorola device 2.5.4 and going on I have already installed the driver so I don't need to install it again so just let me click the finish so now let's go and install the ADB fastboot drivers next accept the agreement next next make sure you saved on the desktop by a small by making a folder ADB and hit install so once that's done, hit refresh and go to the Google and search unlock Motorola bootloader. And then the first link that you see the unlock Motorola Android device phones it will take you a link and that will be the Motorola's official site there will have the instructions and then hit the next read the instruction if you want and then you need to sign in uh, with your Motorola ID hit sign in uh, and then it will show that you need to install the Android SDK and the latest model drivers okay there you see fastboot oem get unlock data this is the command that we're going to use on the fastboot so now we need to tweak up our phone a little bit so let's get to the phone so okay on the phone we need to go in the settings after going in the settings when you hit the system and on the developer options we need to click on the oem unlocking it will ask for the password your device password whatever it is and hit next unlock it hit enable and then we need to t enable the usb debugging too hit ok and that's done voila now connect your usb to your pc and to your phone it's just like that okay now let's get back to the pc and open up the minimal adb driver password driver i mean maximize it and click on cmd here now you can see on the phone now you need to type adb devices and it will show the ADV devices on the screen that we can see is the ZY223FFKF9 and then right after that we need to hit the okay on the second command we need to reboot to our bootloader so we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and you can see on the phone that phone is already on the bootloader now we need to copy that command that fastboot whatever it was on the website that fastboot oem get unlocked data i'll leave the commands on the description you can copy it and after that and after hitting the fastboot oem get unlock get underscore unlock underscore data after hitting that command we'll get some binary codes we need to copy that and paste it on the website to get the phone unlock 
okay let's copy it uh, make sure that whatever it is written under the bracket bracket bootloader bracket we need to delete that and it to and we need to make it into one line and copy the whole stuff and then we need to paste here and click on this just to verify the eligibility once it's done you can scroll down at the below and hit i agree request unlock key hit okay okay now you should be getting a email on your motorola id so get back to the gmail and search motorola uh, yeah that's the email and you'll get it get the unlock key unlock code and hit copy and paste it right here now we need to copy this command fastboot oem unlock and then you need to paste the unique key which is this okay now you just copy the unique key and paste it here so let's get back to the fastboot and hit this okay now actually i'm not going to hit this because if you if you hit the enter with this command then it's going to erase everything in your phone including the internal storage uh, it will be like restoring the phone and then it will turn up with a bootloader unlock warning which means uh, you successfully unlocked it and also I find it very annoying this makes your phone less secure but it has many merits too like you can root your phone you can flash a new kernel or you can flash a custom recovery also uh, you can flash a custom ROM I'm so sorry that I'm not gonna unlock my phone uh, and I can't show you because uh, this is my daily driver and I'm not able to use some apps like Google Pay or GeoMoney or the Beam. I use it very often, so not gonna unlock it. This procedure will work with any Moto devices. So that's it. So guys, if you think this video helped you, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And to give me a bonus, you can share this video with your friends. And until then, See you guys in the next one.